Hi there guys and welcome back to another Supreme DPS guide. This will be the second episode regarding how to do efficient trio kills at Virago. Today we will be looking at how to do phase 5 on either Purple Bomb Rotation or Scopulus as both phase 5s are the same. So the rotation you see on screen is pretty much the one that I find best to do whilst trioing on either Purple Bomb or Scopulus Sweep. A common misconception for this is that you need Runic or Maniacal to be able to do this well However, in the clip you can see that myself and also the other bomb tank are using dark magic and we still managed to do phase 5 perfectly fine. It is definitely more about the rotation than just having pure DPS. Yes, there is some luck involved as to your hits, however, and it is definitely advisable that you use runic and maniacal whenever possible because it will help speed up the rest of your kill times. However, it's not detrimental if you don't have those. So the rotation shown is probably the most important role for phase 5, and most commonly known as the base to bomb role. Basically, I would have been the base for the first 4 phases of the kill, and then after DPSing the start of phase 5 for the first set of purple bombs, I then switch in with the bomb tank. Please note at this point that having turtling perk on either your shield or armor is very important for this rotation, if you're the main bomb tank or the base to bomb role. This is because it allows you to cade all 5 blues after the purple bombs come out. Personally here, I have it on my armor so that I can cade with my defender, however I understand that defenders are quite expensive for their niche uses and therefore most people will opt to just use an arcane and have turtling perk on that. Now with regards to the actual rotation, I'm not going to try and talk over everything, but down below in the description you'll see I've put the exact rotation that I use in this clip. Feel free to adjust it how you like and obviously according to how much stool you get and how many bleeds you get yourself, you might have to change it. For example, I would have had the chance to do an asphyxiate if I hadn't had the last bleed myself and had to clear that. It is certainly better, however, not to be rushed and be able to do the correct defensive abilities at the correct time and to also be able to concentrate on not hitting the other two DPSs with blue bombs. One thing for those people who have a little bit more practice is that you'll notice I switch to a staff and that I use a sonic wave just before I use my debilitate for the extra 10% accuracy. Personally, I find this hugely beneficial as splashing the debilitate can mean that you don't manage to get the phase in one reflex. Finally, the running south as the bomb tank at the end when the purple bombs come out is optional. However, I find it very much worth it and it mitigates a lot of the risk that's associated with bombing the other DPS or whilst he's in an onslaught. This is mainly due to the fact that not only might you kill the player using onslaught, but if they don't die, they'll have to uh, cancel their onslaught early and then you will have lost a considerable amount of DPS. If for whatever reason, you don't manage to get the kill in one reflect, simply just swap back in with the original bomb tank and use the Sun Adren rotation whilst that bomb tank does the same rotation that you did when you first switched out to bombing. I hope this guide helps those of you that are unsure as to what to do on this phase and encourages many of you who have not attempted trios at Virago before to go for it. Have a good one guys and good luck on those seismic drops. As always, like and subscribe for more videos and let me know how you get on down below in the comments.